This is how you use translator plus plus to translate an mtool translation file. So we load our mtool and into mtool we're going to load our RPG Maker game we want translated. All right, once that's loaded in, we can go to our translation tab inside of mtool and we're going to wait for that to fully load the translation data. All right, once that's loaded, we're going to export the original text that needs to be translated. It's going to tell us the uh, JSON formatting it uses. Now, once we have that, we'll have inside of our original folder where the RPG Maker game is a manual translation file. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder. Doesn't matter what you name it, I'll just do MTL. And drop that into the uh, that folder. So inside of a new folder, we just have our manual trans file from mtool. Next, we're going to launch translator plus plus. And this is with uh, the free versions of all these tools. All right, so in Translator++, we're going to start a new project. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where you see parse any script with a custom parser. Now we're going to load our custom parsing script. I'll include this in a download for this in the description. And this is going to be a parser that will read into mtool our mtool, or sorry, read into Translator++ our mtool translation file. Then once we have that selected, we're going to select the folder that we made earlier. So that loads it. Then under our, we'll see it right there, manual trans file that's created from mtool. We're going to select that. And we can open it up and see what's in there. It's going to be all the text within that RPG Maker game. Next, we're going to hit our batch translation. And for the free version of Intel, you only have access to Google. But if you have the paid version, you have access to all of these. And we're just going to select Google and we're going to put this into the uh, machine translations. What I like to do, it really doesn't matter which one you put it into, though. We're just going to translate now and we're going to let that finish. All right, now that that translation is done, we should have into the whatever column we, we set all our translated files. Now, since we use Google, let's see if we can't find some here. There's one other step we have to do before we uh, apply this. All right, here it is. So if we see that, it, Google likes to put everything in quotations here. And that will cause problems when we apply it to the mtool translation file. So we're just going to do a quick control F, replace. We're going to find all quotation marks, uh, all double quotation marks. Just replace them with the space. mtool with this, this uh, find and replace feature is a little wonky. Sometimes you got to do it several times. There we go. So as you see, it's removed most of them. Uh, some of these get like a weird, uh, different kind of quotation mark. So we'll, I usually just copy that. So I, I copied that. It's, it's like an italicized uh, quotation mark, which didn't get removed. So we'll just do the same thing with those. Replace those with the space. Alright, so it removed one of them. 
And then this one's got the same thing, but upside down. So we'll do it as well. All right, now you can see there's no more quotations on, on these. So we can close that. And it looks good. Yep, because those, those quotation marks will, will cause issues when we apply it to an mTool file. But now that we've done that, we can inject it. And we've already got the, the folder with our, our MTL folder we made, so we can just hit apply translation. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we just select the same folder there as well. You can also do a different folder if you want to, because it's going to, you can make it create a copy. I'm just going to apply it to the same file because I don't need a backup of it. And this should be fairly quick. All right, now that that's done, we can close translation plus plus. Okay, then we go back to translator plus plus, and we're going to load our translation file. And if we did everything correctly, it'll load right in. So the translation data cannot be read. So this, this occasionally happens. It means there's some, uh, most likely some double quotations we missed and didn't get in translator plus plus before when uh, that Google added there. But that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to fix those as well. So uh, most games will just read right away, but if it doesn't, what we're going to do, and we're going to look for a JSON validator. Actually, there's one that I like using. This one right here, yeah. JSONLint.com. So then what we can do, we're just going to drag our manual translation file and drop it right in, or validate JSON. So it tells us we've got an error on line 17,616. Should highlight it. There we go. Yep. So you see right there, we missed a double quotation. Looks like it was in the original too, but that, that's what's causing us a bit of issue here. Yeah. See, because it's, it's using uh, double quotations there. So when you do that, you need that backslash. So we're just going to add that back in. And if the backslash is in the original text, just, just add it back in. If it's got a double quotation there and there's no backslash in the original text, just, just get rid of it. So we're going to validate again. Our next error is going to be on 17,642. Just a little bit low. It's probably the same issue. Do another backslash. We're just going to do that down the line. See, just just verify it how it looks over on the original, and do it with this one too. Again, most games won't require this. This is just a special one because they had a bunch of double quotations that uh, we failed to remove. This is why we, we do that search. I should have done it a couple more times. That usually solves the issue. I only did it once. But just, just check for double quotation several times to make sure you get them all. So you don't have to sit here and manually add backslashes. But it's not too long to, to get it all fixed. Alright, JSON is valid. Perfect. Yeah, I think that copies it right there. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we open this up. Uh, you can use Notepad. Uh, I usually use uh, Notepad++. Control-A, Control-V. And then we save it. So we'll load the translation file. 
There it goes. That flash shows you that it that it's done. I'm guessing this uh, intro here is probably hard coded as images. We'll just load the game and see what it says. There we go. It's in English. And that's that's how you use mTool and Translator Plus Plus to translate. Uh, with the free version of mTool, you can only use Bing. So I, that's how I get around and use uh, Translator Plus Plus, which still has Google as its default free version. And let me know if you have any questions. Y'all have a good one.